All right, thank you guys again for joining us out here. My name is Nick Scaramella, and I do have the pleasure of introducing you guys to the Alpine Star MX24 <coughs> collection. Before jumping into the fine details, first, the 24 collection can be best described as refinement through racing, material research, and ergonomic fit development. Our goal was to create gear that was as comfortable as possible but allows the riders to perform at the highest level without the gear ever getting in the way. We are continuing with our four tiers where we have our Super Tech, which is our professional race grade line. So that is gonna have our most advanced uh, material makeup as well as athletic cut and fit. Then we have our Techstar. Our Techstar is the premium do it all that has additional durability built into it and it's the perfect balance of being able to ride moto as well as single track off-road riding. And then we have our racer, which is our optimal value and as well as our best selling collection. And it has our more relaxed sport cut, but actually has a perfect balance between value and performance. And then finally, we have our Fluid, which is the first step into the Alpine Star line. It's a perfect option for all recreational riders of all disciplines. Jet Lawrence here, out here at Washougal for the 2024 Outpoint Star gear launch. Um, and yeah, just going to do some riding today with some media guys and having a, just having some fun. Yeah, it's cool. All the, uh, a lot of media guys and all the, all the boys can check out the new gear, all the 2024 lineup gear stuff. They've got some bikes here they can go ride on. It's cool. So everyone within the industry can have a bit of fun, a bit of a ride. So yeah, it's good. Uh, it just all starts with with the whole company you know one goal one vision it's it's as true as it gets you know they're always working with us working themselves to be better and stuff you know obviously the same as what we do the business mottos match up really well you know we're always trying to be better and anything we have on feedback wise they always listen and they always implement that into the brand so it's uh yeah it's it's a, a happy healthy working marriage for sure mm, exactly what hannah says it's uh we're all are striving to be great and uh, trying to be the best of ourselves. And A Star's always is trying to be the best that they can be. And uh, we just we just work really good together. Gabrielle's been awesome with us, Jose, and just the whole R Point Star brand's been awesome to us. And uh, now they're just kind of like they just turned to like family with us. Uh, we get along really well. We both work very, very hard and always trying to look to be better and that so it just it all works and fits together so good. We, we've got a pretty pretty badass designer, David Durham, he's the best in the business. So that, you know, that with obviously our team and staff working together with them, it's just, it's like I said before, it's just a healthy working relationship and as you guys can see in the gear, it's, it's you know, premier brand in the sport and the company, it's, it's unreal. Just the prestige of it, you know. It's it's what you see when we're racing in is what you can get. So it's it's unreal, you know. Just a company that has an aura about it, you know. It's it's such a big company, you know. You got to respect that. It's in Formula One, Dakar, MotoGP, um, IndyCar, all that stuff. So it's uh, it's the biggest company in motorsport racing for for gear and, and all that stuff and, and anything that they've taken on whether it's you know starting with boots and then the gear and then the helmet and now you know to protective staff and now into goggles as well it's uh you know they really sky's the limit for them i think my favorite kit before these ones came out i think it's actually the uh the kind of pink kind of it's like i wore it at uh last weekend at millville that uh, kind of pinkish and fluoro stuff i wore that the first time uh, in parlor 2021 for my first championship kind of thing like the second last round at parlor so i loved it then it came out again now i got to wear it and i still love it so that's probably one of my favorite kits yeah there's there's too many good to pick i mean i like this one it's just it's you know clean classy uh just nice little, little dashing kind of look about it but no it's there's dude i don't know tough to pick the custom kits are cool but so much of the production stuff is rad what's up yeah. jason anderson here and uh we're here at washugal 
and uh, showing everyone the new uh, 2024 Alpine Star gear. Yeah, uh, obviously Alpine Star, their, their boots have always been, you know, pretty iconic. And for me, I've been wearing them since, shoot, I don't know, maybe eight, seven years old, eight years old, the boots. And then um, they got me in the gear um, in 2016. And, and uh, yeah, been wearing that ever since. And honestly, it fit, it fit top notch. Uh, yeah, I think obviously there's, uh, for me, from 2016, I think um, I think the design of the year and stuff has been um, the level has been raised a lot with Alpine Star. Um, for us, you know, um, on the racing side, they do so much cool custom stuff for us. Just as you know, um, you know, whether it's a, a gear for a race weekend like Daytona or something like that, um, and the boots and everything, it's just the, one of the best companies to work with. Um, it's kind of tough because I feel like it, it changes a bunch, but uh, I, I really liked I liked my purple boots, but as far as the whole kit, I liked the, my red kit that I had on yesterday. It looked pretty good on my bike. That's tough, but honestly, like, Washougal is a cool one because they, they always do the trophies really well. So um, anytime I've gotten on the podium, I'd say last year was pretty cool just because I'd never got a podium here on a 450, so to be able to do that last year was cool. And, and then this year it's kind of... Uh, it's nice to get on the podium because I really needed that for my year. Hey, this is Chase Sexton. We are out here at Washougal the day after the national for the 2024 Alpine Starters gear launch. Uh, doing a little bit of riding, obviously after the national, everyone's a little sore, but um, track's good today and having some fun. Yeah, so I, I come in, pretty much grew up wearing their boots. Um, I mean, I think most people have. They, they make probably, the, I would say, by far the best boots in the business. So as far as safety wise and so I grew up racing in the boots I always like watching Jordan Bailey and Adam since really always had the gear on and I always wanted to wear a gear so bad but for a while you couldn't even really get it in the states it was so hard to get and then uh, obviously on Geico we wore um, Alpine Star boots for a while and then when I went to the 450 class I had one thing in mind that was ride for Alpine Star and as soon as uh, I got um, my debut on the 450, they, they signed me, and ever since then we've been head to toe in Alpine Star. I would say the biggest thing for me is, is Gabrielle, the, the owner of Alpine Star. He is so passionate about racing, and when you can be that hands-on as an owner and um, still care so much about the business, it's, it's pretty special, and I feel like he's really built a group of premier guys around the brand, and it's, uh, it's really special to be a part of. I would say my favorite kit so far is the Bulls, the Bulls gear. It's it's pretty special to me just being from Chicago or near Chicago. And uh, we have some special com stuff coming up uh, for the SMX race there. It's going to be pretty cool. And uh, I would just say the Bulls themed kit are my favorite so far. Favorite Washougal memory was probably winning last year against uh, Eli. We had a really good battle both motos and was able to get the win. So yeah, I would say that's probably my best memory here. What's up everyone, it's Eli. We're out here at the 2024 Alpine Star gear product launch. Um, <clears throat> unfortunately, I'm not riding. I wish I could be out there testing out the new stuff, but I'm still working on this Achilles, doing my physical therapy, uh, getting it healthy. So, um, yeah, it's good to be hanging out with the Alpine Stars family, checking out the new stuff, like I said, and uh, just to see some uh, familiar faces. So, right now, I'm just trying to keep my uh, physical therapy consistent as possible, and, and uh, that's basically like like the one thing I need to focus on right now, right? So i um, been doing that about three times a week and then uh, some things at home also. Um, other than that, it's, 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 like, it's like, what do you do? You know, you, you realize uh, how much you miss, miss the sport and, and miss racing. So um, yeah, man, it's, it's been some good time uh, with the family also. But at the same time, you're like, you wanna get back in that mode of racing. So I've been with Alpine Stars <clears throat> for the majority of my professional career. Um, it's, it's well over 10 years. And, and then in, in amateur racing too, I, I was with Alpine Stars. So um, for me, it's just a, it's a performance product that, that works and, and keeps you safe. Um, and the, that, that's the thing is, is just, can you trust the gear that you're in and it is effective in keeping you safe and and it fits well, breathes well, all of the above. So um, that's Alpine Stars and me. From the, from the start of the gear to now, the biggest thing, <clears throat> or the, the, the biggest change that they've made is, is being lightweight. So the gear is very lightweight. And then 
Um, one thing they really focus on is the fit and for for us that that's very key as a professional racer so good fit lightweight something that works and something that you're not thinking about while you're riding is the most important one gear kit that stands out to me is the the blue i don't know what you call it blue camo that i wore at uh denver 2022 supercross and that was when i wrapped up the championship um yeah so that that kit I've had a lot, a lot of great races here at Washougal. Um, specific year, I'm not sure. I mean, me and Chase had a really good battle here last year. I didn't win, unfortunately, but um, I'm trying to think, man. I, I don't know. I just this is this track is actually top three for me when I when I would come here and race, and uh, because it, it's so much different, and then they've got the big hills. Um, the dirt's a lot different than than. The, you know, our normal events, so it's just unique.